Hello everyone, this is Daryl20, and welcome to episode 7 of Daryl20 Stoneblock series. Uh, today, just getting ready to do a bunch of automation stuff to get more resources. That's the plan. Uh, so last episode we wrapped up making an induction smelter, right? Um, and today's plan is to, uh, basically I wanted to get um, uh, uh, fluid ducts, right? Uh, but in order to get those guys, right, we're going to either need uh, fused quartz from Ender.io or we're going to need, like, the hardened glass stuff uh, from Thermodynamics. So in order to get that hardened glass, um, you know, which is, you know, pretty straightforward, we just need hardened glass. So I can get that as a recipe? Since when can you do that? Oh, well. Well, I mean, we need the uh, pulverized obsidian anyway. Since when is that a recipe? Was that added by this pack, I wonder? I'm not familiar with that recipe for hardened glass. Um, but I mean, it does need pyrothium dust, which I'd rather not have to bother with, right? So four obsidian uh, and one lead. So obsidian's gonna be pretty straightforward for me because between episodes, I set up this little nifty gadget. And I'm pretty sure you get four obsidian per pulverization anyway. So all I did was like throw a little chiseled and bits, uh, chiseled rock right there, and boom, that makes a, a lovely little process for getting obsidian. So that should be a healthy-ish amount of obsidian, which can go straight into my pulverizer. And I might want to move you guys, because like in my head, I usually have um, like how I lay out all these machines. Uh, usually there's a furnace here first, but you know, what I should probably be doing at this point is sticking this dude in the corner. That's what I should be doing. Um, so maybe I will do that actually. Um, so you could be like output you know, like that. I mean, I, I usually like to have actually some visualization on like how full the thing is, which is kind of nice being able to see that. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll keep it that way. Maybe I won't. Meh. Doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, so that, and then we need some lead, right? Uh, we might have gotten more lead. I have a little bit of lead. But we're probably going to want uh, more than that. So let's be prepared for more lead needed. So that should get me, in theory, a couple lead. And then we're going to want two more. And that'll get me the hardened glass that I need in order to make fluid ducts. And, and, and hardened glass is just going to be useful for like transparent item ducts and all that kind of cool stuff. Um, so, I mean, we could have gotten like the non-transparent version, but I like the transparent version. Like I like seeing the things flow through the ducts and all that stuff, right? That's cool for me. So I want to want to do that thing so you can go like that and you're cool and you know we might as well make this induction smelter because we're going to need uh you know easier access to invar and electrum and all that good stuff right so for hardened fluid ducts we also need invar so speak of the devil um now we can get that a little bit easier too I gotta figure out what mod is deciding that mouse wheel is his job, not mouse tweaks, because that mod isn't correct about that fact. So you're cooking up Mr. Induction Smelter rather slowly. Aw, I was hoping I could sneak it in there, but let's get these two things cooked up and then we'll craft up our thing and go from there. So I'm thinking we'll have, like, both sets of machines in here, maybe. Definitely the thermal ones, because, you know, thermal's cool stuff. Um, all right, guys, we're back. So uh, the last minute or two segment there got clipped because uh, of a little derp going on. That's okay. Um, because I'm going to put you away, Mr. Crucible, because I might need you later. Uh, basically what I did, um, which was on camera but then got cut, is um, I, I placed my hardened fluid ducts uh, on my Crucible, and we're piping out. And we're piping into the magmatic generator to get power. And then we're also piping into the stone barrel over there, um, which I think I covered on camera. But basically, I have a chisel and bit there to, to keep the water in place. You're um, doing that to make obsidian. And then in the stone drawer, I put a storage downgrade, uh, which reduces the storage to a single stack. So Normally it can hold like 32 stacks, now it can hold one stack. So it can hold one stack of obsidian and it won't make any more obsidian in the stone barrel until, uh, and we have a little item conduit thing down there, uh, until I take some out, right? If I take one out, boom, it sucks the obsidian out and it makes another piece of obsidian. Cool? Pretty spiffy, right? Not too shabby. So we've got obsidian now, which is spiffy. 
And uh, I also got some other resources and stuff. I kind of wanted to get into uh, making soul sand. Um, and the reason I want to make soul sand, uh, which is not, you know, a terribly uh, silly reason, I think it's a good reason, as a matter of fact, is um, I want to get quartz. And then I can use quartz. How are we doing over here, by the way? Two went pretty good. Hey, since when did Ender Pearl stack up to 64? Which mod's doing that? Mm, that's cool, though. And yeah, we're getting all kinds of fat loots. Loving it. I love my mismatched armor, too. <laughs> so what I'm going to do uh, is, is you may have noticed that this area has, has expanded a little bit or, like, you know, cleaned itself up a bit. I threw uh, some barrels in the corner over here if I need them, and I have a water source, infinite water source back there. And basically I want to make more wooden barrels here. I also chopped down a bunch of trees uh, between episodes, which is why we got a bunch of wood in here, which is always nice. Um, so if I got eight more uh, of these dudes... Right. Um, that should be eight more wooden barrels. So what I'd like to do is pipe water in, pipe soul sand in, no, pipe sand in, pipe soul sand out. And that's uh, what we need to automate. Right. So... The tricky aspect of this is they need to be sitting on top of the mycelium. Um, so we could access from the sides, or uh, we could do conduits from Ender.io, which would probably be a smart idea, right? Because we can pipe the water in with, uh, you know, probably pressurized fluid conduits. We might need a little bit of quartz just to get that going. I might be able to make pressurized fluid conduits out of this stuff, though. Like, do we have... It's saying I don't. So I thought fused quartz was ore dictionary with hardened glass, but maybe not. Uh, regular fluid glass, extract 50 millibuckets per tick, max IO 200 millibuckets. That might be too slow. Pressurized fluid is probably where we want to go. Um, and that, that should be cool. And then we can get item conduits, which just requires uh, some pulsating iron, which is really pretty straightforward, especially since we have an Enderman farm. Well, I mean, we don't have an Enderman dedicated farm, but we have Enderman going on over here, right? So I should be able to get like four of these dudes with some iron. And at some point we'll upgrade this alloy smeltery. Right, because right now it's gonna be slow to make that. Can you make this in here out of curiosity? Like, does, does this add a recipe? It seems to. So that's cool. Okay. Um, so we just need a little bit of quartz to get things going. So let's start out. And, and can we make a reservoir? Because that would probably be... Doesn't Ender.io have reservoirs? Are they disabled? It might be. I thought reservoir was a thing in Ender.io. And, and I know it's in 112 because I'm using it in Modern Skyblock. Aren't I using reservoirs in Modern Skyblock? Uh, energy gauge, that looks cool. Ha ha ha! It's been renamed Endervoir. Uh, so does it accept any fused quartz? Accepts fused quartz, except black. black. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, and then a cauldron. Okay. So Endervoir. <laughs> uh, we found it. Okay. Cool. Uh, so you do accept hardened glass. So that's nice. So you just need a couple bits of quartz to get going, which sounds reasonable. I think that sounds reasonable. Right, so we'll get these dudes, okay, and we'll we'll start off. Did I make a? I could make if I wanted to. I could make this thing, right? Because I only need a bucket. No, I need a, a little bit of iron, and what else did I need? Some tin. So I could totally make this thing. Right, you guys can go away because inventory issues, and you can go away for now. As can you, just clean up a little bit of a mess that I call my inventory system. See why I need, see why I need refined storage. I don't know how quickly we will get into it, but I feel like we can get into it quick enough. So this will be for like the first bit of soul sand that we're gonna get. Um, 
right? That should be pretty quick. While that's transforming, let's initiate or get ready to initiate the whole, um, you know, sand to soul sand transformation process automation. So I'd like a Yetta wrench if I can. So that should be not too bad. You do need electrical steel, which is uh, silicon. So how do I get silicon in this pack? I, do I have to smelt quartz? Can I, can I do the, the, the sand thing? Crusher, sand, alloy smeltery quartz, sag mill, furnace. I can sag mill sand, but we'll have to make a sag mill. Otherwise it has to be quartz. That's or the crusher from mechanism can also turn that. Um, would it be super hard to get a sag mill real quick? Reasons to have both sets of machines, right? Uh, so a simple sag mill requires another one of those grains of infinity and some more iron bars. And we should have most of the resources to do all that, right? I wouldn't mind a couple more stone gears and maybe a piston. And now we have a sag mill. Sweet. Okay. And then um, we're going to want some iron for sure. Uh, we're going to want some coal. I think I can turn you back into coal, right? Yeah, I can. Uh, so I'm going to want in total for the Yetta Wrench 3, right? Um, so we should be prepared with that. And then the silicon, which is going to need some sand to be sag milled. So crossing our fingers that you're good to go. You can pulverize yourself, Mr. Pulverizer. Sweet, silicon. Look at that. Beautiful. And then you can be this, this, and this. Go, sag mill, go. All right, so you're ready to make the Yetta wrench. We'll just have to wait for a little bit more of that stuff. Meanwhile, let's hook up what's going to be our drawer system. So what we'll ultimately have is maybe something like, that's not how I wanted that to look. Can I pop you here and you here? And that would look cool. Right? Um, and then we're also going to want some conduit binder, uh, which is going to be sand, gravel, and clay. Uh, so I know we're probably going to want, let's get two stacks, one of gravel and one of sand. And we're also going to need a little bit of clay. So let's be prepared with uh, a little bit of dust. Does that sound cool? So spread that all out. Um, Good, I do have a decently unused amount of that. You know what I'm gonna do? Six should be good. And then we'll get you guys. Shift clicked into that. Okay, now we should have some clay, which we should be able to just do. And let's be ready to pick up lots and lots of this stuff. First time getting to use the reservoir from Thermal in this process, and it's pretty nice. Not bad at all. All right, so now to get some conduit binder, uh, we're basically gonna want, this recipe does exist. It does exist. So a stack of you should be cool, and the rest of this can go here for now. And then your conduit binder can take care of your job. Hooray! Meanwhile, my Yetta wrench resources should be complete. Nice. Silicon can go in the resource chest. Uh, 
Yetta should be good. Conduit binders should be good. So we're going to want item conduits. Let's get this many. That should be six sets. We need more of this stuff. Yay, advanced item transfer. Good to go. Nice. For now, you can chill in there. Uh, so you, sir. So you're going to extract on green. OK. Uh, and you will be extracting on green in the north direction, and you're going to be always active. You, on the down, are going to insert on green, extract on brown, always active. Um, and is there a conduit probe that's not in town? Yeah, it's enough electrical steel. I don't feel like doing it. It would take longer. So you, you, you. So extract brown, insert green. So on down, and then on south, you're going to insert on brown and not extract at all. Cool. OK, so that all looks good, right? So now, in theory, theory, watch what should happen. Um, I put sand in you, and you should do your thing. And that all turns into soul sand. Nice. Now all we need to do is get our reservoir. Um, but in order to get that, we need the quartz. So I'm going to sift you. So quartz. Uh, from sifting. So flint, you have a 33% chance. Um, and you get a 75 plus 38% chance from diamond. So we definitely want to sift out of diamond. Uh, maybe I do want. Because I don't want to do this one I don't want to do. I think I deleted my old sieve, so we'll just make another one because they are super cheap. I don't want to lose those um, two dudes, right? So we're going to get some quartz. All right, so we, we basically get one nether quartz per soul sand. It's like your rough average estimate. Uh, so what I did was I got nine of them. So I put eight in there, because that's how much you get. And that should make two quarts, I believe. Um, so we take those two quarts, and we should be able I'm going to make the reservoir first, uh, or the endervoir, as it is now known. Sneaky ender IO. Um, and what I should be able to do now, do we have morph in this pack? Because that would be awesome. It does not look like it. What is going on in my hot bar? Holy cow, that is a thing that I was not prepared for. So what I'm probably going to want to do... So that should make for infinite water. Right? So then I can also do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? You're transforming into witch water, which will immediately produce uh, nine more sand for me. Um, what I might also want to do to get copious amounts of soul sand going here uh, would be, okay, good, I can do this. Oh, good, we got our soul sand coming in, beautiful. Because we're going to need enough to make the uh, fluid conduits right now. That's what it comes down to. That mm, probably won't be enough, right? Because for conduits, we're going to need three. I mean, technically, we can make it two. We would need quite clear. So I might as well just wait for the three fused. Um, and that'll get me eight. So technically, I want six uh, fused quartz. So six fused quartz uh, would be 24. So let's come back in a minute after I've gotten all that I need to get uh, in terms of soul sand. So back in a sec. All right, here's crossing our fingers that we got 24 quarts out of this. We did awesome. So the 24 quarts is exactly what we should need in here to get the fused quarts, uh, which we'll use for stuff. Anybody see creepy little Enderman faces? 
showing up on their screen, or is that just me? Anyway, conduits like you. Pressurized conduits. Woot. So that, in theory, uh, should be a good approach to getting what we need to get, right? So you extract always active, not insert. And boom. So then you guys should fill up with water pretty quickly. The water will turn into witch water. Uh, and that is pretty awesome. So that is relatively fully automated sand to soul sand. Well, sand to soul sand fully automated. Uh, production of sand less than automated. So what's a nifty trick to making large amounts of sand? Uh, we could do this crops thing, because that's usually a pretty good amount of sand. Uh, we don't have those crops set up just yet. Roosting with the sand chicken, which is apparently found in the overworld. Uh, sand chicken, which we can make with that. Oh, that's not terrible. We just need to get an egg, which we'll have to figure out how to get. Uh, so either chickens or crops. Uh, we can also obviously, we can set up a crusher for cobblestone. That's the actually additions crusher, which is kind of slow and doesn't have a lot of speed upgrade options. Uh, you are usually not too bad, but you do need that pink slime thing. The chicken laying, uh, obviously the compressed hammer can do it. Um, uh, yeah, we don't want soul sand to sand because that's exactly what we're trying to do. We're not gonna do mana, pulverizer, um, Gravel turns into sand in a pulverizer? Okay. I wasn't, this is what I was looking for because I wasn't sure if like those custom things were set up so that thermal expansion machines turns gravel and sand into gravel first and then sand. Uh, the fact that that's not set up is kind of good news for this situation. Um, so what I'll do is I'll make another pulverizer over here, right? So all I need to do is grab a little bit of redstone and lead and some glass. Right, that should be a sufficient amount. Um, and then we're gonna want our pulverizer. So we're gonna want some tin, you. Stick, 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 sticks. I'm actually gonna need a few more sticks. So three of them, this dude, this dude. Did I use all my redstone like a giant dire derp? I kind of did. I can get a little bit more from this just because I happen to have, you know, dust in my inventory from when I was making the clay earlier. So we'll sift that up super quick. That'll get me hopefully just enough redstone to get by. Probably should have been a little less uh, aggressive, if you will, with my... Two might be enough for a pulverizer, because I don't think... Oh, I totally need a little bit more. Yeah, <laughs> Killing me! So if I needed... Can I pulverize you? I totally can pulverize you. How's that for a trick? <laughs> I had a feeling you could do that. And I don't know if I need lead nuggets. We have a sufficient amount of lead. You know what I need, though, is gold. All right, so what I can do, check this plan out. So this is fully automated soul sand in about a minute, hopefully. So what I'm going to do is put you here. You're going to be set to accept here and output there uh, for this one. And you're going to output there for this one. OK. Um, you're gonna get power coming in, probably the back. Yeah, I think the back. Uh, so here's what we're gonna make. Thank you. So we're gonna make a cobblestone generator whose sole job will be to produce cobblestone for you, sir. How cool is that? 
right? So you should be producing cobblestone and putting it right in there. We'll see if it's fast enough. We might need to throw a little bit more speed in that. Um, and then what I would also like to have is... A trash can. Well, maybe I want a drawer. Yeah, let's store the let's store the gravel, right? Like, why not? I was gonna avoid it, but like, eh, who cares? I'll I'll, I'll take gravel. A little extra gravel ain't gonna hurt nobody, right? Uh, and then the real hope is that we have enough of you. So basically, we're gonna look to go off in this direction. I have no idea where I'm going. Can I do? Yeah, that's what's up. I don't know where I am relative to, hey, there I am. Tunnel mode is the best. Good enough for now. All right, so you, sir, Just gonna come right. Yeah, you may not want to be there. That'll do. Uh, excepting for the part where I'm standing in the way, but yeah, you get the idea. So that. Should be super cool. Right? How's that look? Right? So you are producing the sand uh, fast enough. Right? The sand is going into the witch water, and then we're getting fully automated soul sand at this point. Nice. So that's soul sand five. That's going to bump up to soul sand six in a second there. There it is. Right? So we walk away from this and we come back later and we have mountains of soul sand. That is awesome. Uh, I approve, sir. I highly, highly approve of that. All right. Uh, let's come back in a minute so I can collect my thoughts and see where we're at for the episode. Now, if we really want to get fancy at some point, we can bump this thing's... Um, uh, up to an invar upgrade, which we might even be able to do real quick, because I think I have some invar, right? Um, an upgrade kit. So we just need a little bit of you, which totally needs some more of you. The problem is, is I need bronze, which is a uh, three copper and a tin. Uh, and then we need the redstone. That that's the real trouble. That's the real troublemaker. But I should be able to whip that up real quick by pulverizing these two dudes. Uh, big to-do list item, more redstone, one way or another. That'll have to probably be next episode, because uh, we're definitely getting to that point. So we can throw at least a basic upgrade kit in there. Um, and if I wanted a speed augment, I'm pretty sure we're going to need two more redstone to get that guy because we need two redstone for that so two redstone and a total of five gold six gold to get the speed augment so like we can drop this dude in there drop that dude in there he's gonna be uh he's gonna get his power filled up and then he's gonna run a little bit quicker up to 60 R of a tick, which I forget how much that magma generator downstairs produces, but we'll find out. If it's under 60, I'll just throw a speed upgrade into it. Maybe next episode we'll get in on that. Uh, but that should speed up the production of sand uh, to the point where it'll keep up with the witch water and maybe even overtake it. And the hope is that eventually we start stocking up on sand in addition to soul sand. Because if we're producing sand faster than our witch water can transform, uh, that would be cool. If we're not, then we might need a faster speed upgrade, or we just wait for this door to fill up. Either way, uh, we've got a bunch of soul sand, which leads to a bunch of quats. 
which is cool. All right, so uh, let's do this. Maybe wrap up the episode here. Uh, I'll do a little bit more um, dust sifting between episodes so that we have access to more uh, stuff. I should probably, you know what? You guys can move and I'm gonna put like my useful tech gadgets in here. So things like, not you, you're kind of a resource, but you're gonna go over here for now. You guys are gonna be like these things and this stuff and this stuff and the Yetta Range and this guy and you and you and you and you. All these things, right? Um, and that should be good. And otherwise we're cool. Otherwise we're cool. You probably go here because you technically don't belong. And uh, you're a resource, I guess, unfortunately, that I have to deal with having. This needs an upgrade, this chest. Uh, I think it's just you. Actually, you are not even an iron chest, are you? You should be an iron chest. So we'll take care of that too. So technically you guys could belong in here because you're not resources. And that can be considered relatively organized, right? So that's all my resources. Technically you're not a resource either. So far more resource production to get into at some point, but at the very least we've got that going. If there's anything useful over here that I can consider like I wish those were conversion kits. It's great that they're upgrade kits, but I wish they were conversion kits because that would be super OP. Um, but otherwise, I think yeah, it's all pretty good. For now, Dial 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time. We will play more so with uh, the Stone Block mod pack. And so far, I'm really enjoying it. Like this pack, very refreshing. I don't know why, because it's definitely like Skyblockish, but like I'm just having so much fun on it. I really am. So I'm excited about that. All right, take it easy, guys.